when you read the Bible, do you have understanding? Do you have the skills to interpret the Bible? Can you apply the Bible correctly to your daily life? The Bible is God's word, but not everyone that reads the Bible understands. The Bible is God's manual for living. The Bible is profitable living. The Bible is a book of sources. Acts chapter 8, 31. Philip asked it. How can I? Unless someone guides me, all you need to do is to search Peace Chapel Facebook Live. You can have the skills and proper interpretation and understanding to catapult your life to the next level. Peace Online Bible School is here to make you fall deeply in love with the Word of God. Join us this and every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. and you will be equipped for glory. Peace. Shalom. Moving in a Hello, wonderful people of God. We are excited to have you as another Saturday evening. And Family Matters has come your way again. Today promises to be exciting, interesting, and the best. We would like to go for a quick commercial break. When we come back, Family Matters is on. Thank you. When you read the Bible, do you have understanding? Do you have the skills to interpret the Bible? Can you apply the Bible correctly to your daily life? The Bible is God's word, but not everyone that reads the Bible understands. The Bible is God's manual for living. The Bible is profitable living. The Bible is a book of sources. Acts chapter 8, 31. Philip asked Ethiopian, you know, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I? Unless someone guides me, all you need to do is to search Peace Chapel Facebook Live. You can have the skill. Somebody leaves you and comes back. And you just left me to marry. And when the marriage got tougher and tougher, you are coming back. Found through. Men marry with their eyes. Whereas women, they marry with their ears. So when it comes to communication, those of you who are wives, be careful the way you dress in the night. When my wife and I go into a uh, bed, the way she dress, her dress is trying to talk to me. And so wives, you must know that your body belongs to Jesus and your own husband. It's a sin for you to sleep with a strange woman apart from your wife. If you say, I'm not in the mood, what do you mean? If you are not in the mood, he is in the mood now. Give it to him. So you have about 4 billion women. You are supposed to marry one. The whole world is at your disposal. Don't make mistake. Why will you go for somebody's leftover? Don't go for leftover. You are wondering, thinking and seeking answers. Are you single, married or in a relationship? Do you have challenges bringing up your children in the godly way? Do you have challenges in your marriage? Then join us this very Saturday and every other Saturday at 7 p.m. on Family Matters. Peace Chapel, Facebook Live, and your family would and you are welcome to the best Saturday evening family show. It's Family Matters, proudly brought to you by Peace Chapel International. And my name is Constance Oleki Bakete, your hostess for today. Last week was amazing. We had our father and mother in the Lord here who answered questions, and it was so exciting. I'm sure we were all blessed. Yes, today, again, we are honored to have them in the house but before we commence if you are watching please don't be selfish try and share invite a friend like the page just now i want you to like the page create a watch party so that your family can also benefit anyone you know who would benefit from this talk show or this discussion program please do well to make them know about it as we commence, you can also send your questions to 055-459-2569, 055-459-2569 on WhatsApp and will be duly read for you or on the comment section below on Facebook and your questions will be answered. Thank you once again for joining Family Matters, brought to you by Peace Chapel International. Okay, so as I said earlier on, our father and our mother in the Lord are in the house in the persons of Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo and Reverend Mrs. Teresa Enyonam Adolfo. 
So we have Efo and Enyonam in the house. You're both welcome. Thank you for coming this week too. I'm happy to see Mami in the house. Um, how has the week been for you? Mami, please, how has the week been for you? Oh, so good. It has been so good. We sound good. Daddy, how about you? Very interesting. Very interesting. We sound good. Okay, so can we go with the first question? Mommy, you know since you are here, I'll start with you. So, please, my first question from a single says, I am in a relationship and my parents know about it. And because they can't support me financially, they push me to go and live with a man and do everything he wants for him. Because of this, he maltreats me and harasses me sexually. What do I do? Sylvia from Newtown. Um, good evening to all your viewers this evening. Mm -hmm. um, may the good Lord bless them for viewing us this night. Amen. Um, to the question, a single lady and then she's into a relationship and is the mom and the dad that forced her into the relationship or she went in the relationship herself? She went herself, but because they realized that um, the man is financially stable, they pushed her to go and stay with the man. And then he's more treating her. It, it's so sad. It's mm. so sad that um, your, your own mom and your own dad will push you to go into a relationship that I would say you are not comfortable with mm -hmm. in a way because mm. she says the man must more treats her and stuff yes so I would like to tell her that she has her own life to live yes okay. uh, she, since she's in a relationship uh, I'm sure she's matured mm. and she knows good from bad um, if the man is financially sound and then your family doesn't have any she's old enough to work with her own hands so she should try and then talk to her parents and tell them that she 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 needs to work herself and have her own money, mm. which is possible. Yes. Yes. So uh, for me, I think um, for her to be maltreated, it's, it's a bad thing. And I don't know how she's going to live with it all her life. life. Yes. So for me, I would like her to talk to her parents and then tell them she has to work herself mm. and then quit from that relationship because it's not going to help her at all. Mm. Yes. And I would like to take this opportunity to also talk to parents mm -hmm. that uh, we shouldn't push our daughters to go and live with um, men. men that has money, so-called money. I don't know um, what kind of money that they are talking about, mm -hmm. but she can work herself and then have her own money to take care of the mom and the dad. So for me, she should quit. Mm. She should quit and talk to her mom and dad and tell them she, she, she needs to work herself and have her own money to look after herself, her siblings, and then her parents. The mother and the father should be looking after her instead of allowing someone to look after her. <laughs> so I, I think it's, it's an error. So she should advise herself. Yeah, right? she should advise herself. Wow. Yeah. So Sister Silva from New Newtown, wherever you are, Mommy has answered your question. Please advise yourself and move out of this relationship. It's not going to help you. Thank you very much, Mommy. Daddy, would you like to say something? I That's fine. Next That's question. okay. I have some people are sending some questions here as well. So you let me take your own. And uh, please, those who have sent questions, I am going to uh, answer you in a due time. Until then, let's keep on rolling. When do I take my boyfriend to my parents? Because I have been hiding my relationship for a while now. Bediako Central. Daddy. Uh, as a woman, a young girl that you have met, a young guy, I'm sure by understanding and by knowledge, you know the person in question. Uh, there are some people, they are just exaggerators and uh, they are just chameleon or pretenders. Other people also are sociopaths. Simply mean that they don't mean what they say. Mm. So as a woman, scripture says that you're supposed to be a wise person, knowing the time within which uh, you find yourself. Mm. 
So when to take a man, it depends on how the man carry himself with you. Oh. Mm. Is he a faithful person? Uh, is he, anything he tells you, does he do it? Does he have time for you? Mm. Have you seen real love mm. come from him? Is he a real person? Mm. These are the questions you must be able to answer by yourself. And if you realize that, yes, I've been with him for a while, I'm sure it will not, it will not going to be good if you take him to your parents probably first four months or first six months. No, it will be too early. According to married counselors, uh, you need to work with a man for about eight months to a year, right? So, number one, early before six months is not right. At least from eight months going, if some indicators show that he can be a good person. Mm -hmm. And there are some people, let's say, you are going out to the guy, and the guy is beating you up. He has not married you, he's beating you up. Then you got to know that taking him to your parents is far true. It's not that here, it's non starter. Mm -hmm. Because the red flags are too much. Okay. So you got to identify the red flags. Are they anything that he does you don't like? Mm -hmm. And uh, is he a person that when you advise him, he listen to you? Does he respect you? Mm -hmm. Does he value you? These are the questions a young girl must be able to consider first. Oh, okay. And uh, so that you know what to do. So, Bishop, um, the moment you accept um, a proposal from a man, you are not supposed to rush to introduce the person to your... It depends. There are, some, there, are, see, there are some exceptional, exceptional cases. Mm -hmm. Let's say your guy lives in London. Mm. He came around for some time, and then both of you have understood each other. Mm. He's about to go, probably come next two years. That instance is advisable. But even that one too, you need to pray, number one, and check your spirit and your heart. If we're a child of God, the spirit of God is in you. So you've got to know what, what's happening. There, is there any peace within your heart? Mm -hmm. You've got to know that there are some things... You must be able to pick them easily. Okay. There are some people when you are around them, you are just happy, you are comfortable. You know these people are real people. You may even be with somebody for two years, but still he's not be real person. Mm. And yet you can be with somebody for a month, and you know the spirit in you uh, try to showcase yes. to that this person is real. Yeah. So check your spirit and check your heart okay. and do something about okay. it. Thank you yeah. very much, mommy. With this same scenario, you realize that some youngsters or young adults enter into a relationship like years before their mothers or their parents get to know about it, and by that time they have made mistakes. Don't you think that, um, as a young adult, even before you accept a relationship? you inform your parents yes. in that regard For me, i would like my daughter mm -hmm. to talk to me immediately, away. immediately someone mm -hmm. proposes mm. and then maybe she knows the person for a while and then she thinks um she wants to live with the person the person mm. yes so me i would like my daughter to talk to me first before. yes before and then before she agrees mm. oh no 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 Maybe she, before she agrees, uh -huh. yes, before she agrees. Okay, so this yes. is not introducing matter. Mm. Yeah, that you are, you, you want your daughter to seek your consent first. Yes, uh -huh. yes. To make her aware that, okay. mommy, I'm entering into a okay. relationship. Okay, yes. Yes. I think that is not bad at all. Mm. Yes, you can talk to her. Yeah. Yes. Thank and you very you much. guide her. Mm. So that means, that simply means that as a mother, you're supposed to be a role model mm -hmm. to your daughter. A friend, to be precise. Yeah, a, a coach and a friend. mentor, if you permit me. Mm. If there's rapport between you and your daughter. She can easily come yes. to tell you things I'm, like this. Yes, yes. I'm sure uh, there was this pastor and his son, right? And the son wants to marry. And surely the, the son said, I told the girl, I want to tell my dad, even before we start. If my dad says yes, it is going to be yes, because I know my mm. dad's supposed to be a man oh, of God. God. Yeah, so... It's right. all come back to relationship mm. and rapport. That's why parenting is not just making babies, sure. but rather having time for your children, children, knowing their temperament, their demeanor, their courtesy, their manners, their personality, and everything. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, we have a lot of viewers here. God bless you so much, Dr. Karen, Mr. Pastor Vincent Sapon. Um, he says, we salute you, Papa and Mommy. Thank you very much, Mr. Frank Jan. God bless you, Bishop Ebenezer Boateng. Good evening. Elfo, God bless you for a good job. Watching you live from 
Kata, um, Pastor Abdul, Michael Abdul Karim, God bless you, Bishop, and my sis, Reverend Adolfo. Okay, God bless you all. Dr. Dr. Karen says, preach, Pastora, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Pastor Vincent Sapon says, but mommy, she went for the man herself. Oh, no. <laughs> so, he's, he's saying um, this regarding to the first question, when you said she should advise herself. Yes, so Aye. he says that the lady went for the man herself. It wasn't the parent that pushed her. But because they realized that the man had something, they encouraged so her. She has realized the yeah. man is not good for her. So why would she stay in there? Mm. She, she has to get out of the relationship. In the mm -hmm. Mr. Awuzi, how secured is a long distance relationship? God okay. bless you all for the insights. And that's, that's a question, question. okay yes, we have a lot of me. questions please keep your questions coming thank you so much god bless you we are going to read them and our abled counselors are going to answer them thank you very much so bishop how secured is a long distance relationship huh. apart from god there's no security <laughs> in long distance relationship <laughs> apart from god yes mm. it's a human being we are dynamics we changes mm. and uh, a guy and a guy a girl mm. both of us we are not girls mm. as you grow you move you you move um you move around and you meet people yeah only god so for me security so far as long distance is concerned is, concerned is, is god, god. <laughs> that's it wow. if both of you understand who you are mm. and christ is your king mm. and both of you have covenanted in the blood of Christ. Mm. In other words, both of us are aware that we are Christians and because of that we are faithful uh, to each other. Mm -hmm. I've given you my word and I can't take it back. But only Christ can make, can it, make secure. it secure. So for me, long distance relationship, only Christ. That is why you must not joke with your Christianity. No. If somebody is in Christ or if somebody is a child of God, it's different in altogether. Mm. For example, when I met mommy many years ago, mm -hmm. I proposed to her. You know what she said? No. One marry me if you don't marry me. Hmm. And that word was like, oh boy. It was like a bomb. Anywhere I go, because as a young person in Bible school, Church of Pentecost, charismatic young boy, you know, these guys are following me here and there. You. All over seven of them every day. With this person will buy this, this will buy mm -hmm. that, shit or Akwele, or Mutuo, you know, and this, and many more. And but there was a place that I, I used to preach. When I go there to preach, all these guests, about five of them, were like prophetess. Yeah. They prophesy to the realm. Oh, wife. they enter into the realm, Papa. Mm. And then here was a virgin for a quiet, simple, energetic, and a fearful, uh, wonderful made by God. So I found myself in a in a in a, a big box. Mm. But that what she said. So I didn't want to be unfaithful person. Mm. So it's only Christ. It's only Christ. That helped me to say yes to her. If not, other people could have taken me from her. Yeah. So whether long distance or close distance, <laughs> the key must be short God. Short distance. No short distance, <laughs> long distance. It's only God who. Oh wow. When it comes to relationship, mm. only God. It's only God. So if both of you, if you don't know Jesus, forget it. Mm. It won't work. Mm. Thank you very much. Mommy, let me ask this question. <laughs> That time you asked Daddy say, say one worry me. What came into your head? Like what made what encouraged you or what made you make that statement? Because I, I had heard uh, many people disappointing ladies and stuff. Mm. So when he proposed, I asked him, Are you sure of what you are saying? Mm. And are you going to marry me? Are you sure say you are not worry me? Eh? Mm. Hey, you have to say it to say one worry me. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, please, it's family matters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the next question is, what is showing love in a relationship? What is showing love in a relationship? Yes. I think she, he means um, it's from Mr. Papa Obeng. Oh, what is showing love? What is showing love in, in a relationship? relationship? Yeah, but... What does it entail? Yes. If you claim you want to marry somebody... Oh, Yes, love. What is love? Mm. Love, they say, is action. Love is decision making, mm. and love is commitment. And so, if you claim you love somebody, and both of you have 
agreeing to work in a relationship. Show it by probably giving her your time or him your time. If you say, I want our visit at 7 p.m., it will be prompt. Mm. And then whatever you have said, stand behind your word. Behind. And then you can buy some more, some more gifts if you have opportunity. It depends on who you are and the yeah, kind of income you carry. Okay. You can never say you love somebody, you don't have any attention, no care for the person. Mm. You may be outside the country, but calling her or him frequently is a good show. Doing night calls, at times all night praying together, is a good show. You can go and then just load your data. Here in Ghana, if you don't have Wi-Fi, then you got to know. You need to spend. And on fourth day, at times the ladies, only the guys call. That's not right. You two must call. I'm talking to ladies who are listening to me. Okay, ladies. You must call. Listening? Yes, you two must call now. Okay. Why should every day the men should call? It should be it shouldn't be one side. No, 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 not at all. So love must be seen mm. the way the person or people involved are committed to each other. Maybe the lady is now getting up, you know. Yeah, what are you getting up? Yes, because it is the man that's Went to the lady and to said, propose. To propose. And so why you have yes. not you have not accepted anything? No, no, you have. Or the vim has not come. Yes, so the ah, it's continue. gradual. Yes, Daddy, it's, it's I gradual. remember you said yes. something that ladies are like incubators. So it is what you feed them with. So ah. it takes time. Yes, but so communication there mm -hmm. in every relationship, you are now dating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you are pre preparing. It's an indicator, right? So it might be mutual, both sides. I understand. Mm -hmm. I'm for the guy there. Hello, darling. What's up? Sharp, What's sharp, up? Sharp, 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 sharp. want to call. Uh, but when we call you to call too. Daddy, yeah. we've heard. You, you, you remember that you wrote to me a letter. I should spare you one hour for my oh, time. That's, that's a long time. It's a long time, but it was powerful. Daddy, this is your letter, dear. You've already been uh, talking uh, about it. Uh, <laughs> now, now, uh, that's the thing. It was a good thing. Good okay. letter. Well, I felt very good. I said, wow. Mm. I'm also important to this I'm guy. I'm writing the letters. Because yes. <laughs> it's important. The second question from Papa Obeng is, what is making love in marriage? Mommy. Making love in marriage. Yes, he's the same one that asked, what is showing love? Okay, so now making so what love. Is making making love? love. Yes, uh, making love is not, it's not just going into bed with your wife, mm. but you show care and concern. Yes that you you make your woman or your wife feel so good you know you can sometimes help your woman out or your wife out mm. in the house mm. and stuff yes help her out, out in, what like in the house chores okay. and stuff maybe you have babies and stuff you can take care of your baby while she's also doing something else that doesn't know. make him oh. less of a man no 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 because we are one we are together and we are living in our own oh. apartment so we can just do if you help the lady you make her so proud mm. and then you can have her all to yourself wow yes mm. so yeah. I thank you very much i think what i can add to that one mm -hmm. is that you know gone were the days mm. that uh we, we used to say men are the breadwinners today things have changed uh, we have a lot of ladies who are also career women yeah. that they go out there, they work. Not only that, here you are, uh, your wife is pregnant mm -hmm. for the first time. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have much experience. Yes. What is wrong if you go to the kitchen and make her food? That's great now. Wash a dish, mm. the dishes, and wash the clothes. The first time I went to a uh, uh, presiding elder, you know, I used to be Church of Pentecost member, I came up with a I visited near Akimo. I visited my prison near that. And that him in. When I saw him watching, watching the clothes of his wife, wow. I shouted. Wow. Because all my lifetime, I have never, never seen, seen it. My father, for where? Mm. Ah, no way. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, am I dreaming? What kind of oh. island I find myself? Then the other smiled. From that day, I realized, oh, it's possible. So mm. showing love, making love, you must know. Uh, limit to sex. Okay. As a matter of fact, for me, by my understanding, to be a romantic person is not the uh, the key thing and other stuff. Those are secondary. If you give helping hand to your wife, your wife, you are romantic. You are romantic. Hey. If you can if make pepper soup, fufu, wache for her to Ampe eat, and pepsi for her to eat, emba or mutuo ah, that's a good one. Tomorrow, like this, is Sunday. Your wife is pregnant. Relaxing. Take a car, drive, <laughs> go to, to a place. 
Oh, yes. I you are going to say tomorrow, Sunday, like this. You are your going turn. to prepare. Going to prepare. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. About me, they are prepared. Ah, it's all in there. I prepare. Ah, you know the, the kind of food I can prepare. I'm talking to the young people. For us, there almost thirty years. But he knows. Ah, why well, now? I mean, there are some things I will do. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. But I'm encouraging today's young people, as for those who have married, it's it's time for them to show love, not only sex, sex, sex. No. Help I'm talking to uh, this young man because today in the 21st century things are changing, mm. and this is not a brofaware. This is this typical is... African marriage. Yeah. Let the men come out. Okay. Uh, if you say you love your wife, show it mm. by making sure you sweep the room. It's a, a rich man came to me with his wife. This man was too rich and still rich. You know what the wife told me? The wife said, "Daddy, tell my my husband every day to make the bed." And I said. Hey, Give me a break. Come on, what do you mean? I said, no, that's what I want. Wow. The bed. And this is a multimillionaire man. Uh -huh. The wife said, the bed. You make them bed. I said, hey, I'll sell my bar. Okay. Uh, that's very, very important. Thank you very much. The questions are just <laughs> popping up. Thank you so much, viewers, for watching. This is the best program on Saturday evening, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Please, if you've not invited a friend, do well to invite a friend right away. Um... Mrs. Vicentia Aquahagan is watching. Mabel Ellen Mausi, host, you are looking gorgeous. Thank you so much. Dr. Karen says, that's good advice. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Patricia Efum, a helping hand is always romantic. Is you? Very true, Daddy. Wow. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Bishop. Okay, Bishop just answered the question. So, mommy, have, I have met a guy who is almost done with medical school. He's left with two years to settle with everything. Should I wait or I should move on? He's 31 and I am 27, Rebecca Kaswa. Yes, the question will be, is, is she in a relationship with the guy? I think that's... If he... If she's she in, is... A relationship then she has to wait yes uh, he's left with just two years to finish what is she afraid of her, her age i think because she's 27 she's afraid that maybe by two, two years she would be 29, 29. and uh, and then it's not bad at all 29 oh, okay. is not that bad mm. so she should go ahead and okay. then wait if she is sure that that the man is coming for her mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> your security is in God. Mm -hmm. Sister Rebecca from Kaswa. So, mommy has answered your question. How do you know a man really loves you as he claims? Dina Adenta. So, I think this question is in relation to how to show love. Sure. And I, I think mean, that one is love mm. is action. If somebody says, I love you, and there's nothing to show, to show, it doesn't have commitment to you, no caring, no attention, it doesn't give you anything. Mm. And then he tried to deceive you all the time. No, <laughs> love is questionable. That, that, that kind of love is fake. Uh, real love shows. Mm -hmm. And he also said that I've made up my mind and I can't change. Mm -hmm. Love is decision making. Mm -hmm. I've decided to go with you. It doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. As a matter of fact, love, the word love in Greek, it goes deeper. People talk about the filio and the eros. But the agape one simply means that I am committed to you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter the process, what mm. happens. Mm. I'm in love with the virgin for whether she behaves well or not. It doesn't change anything. That love is constant. Mm. It doesn't matter the mm. process. Mm. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much. Let's take a question from a married couple. It says, greetings, pastor. Please, is it ideal for couples to sleep in their separate rooms? Hmm. Obaya Kaswa. Oh, Obaya. You want to go for that one? Mommy. Uh, okay. Like me, when I was growing up, I saw my mom in her room and then my dad in his room. Oh, wow. Yes. Mm. That was what I saw. And then, yes, I saw that my mom was has her own room and my dad also has his so, own. But I don't think it's the right thing to do. For me, both of you should sleep in one room. Mm. And and on one bed. Okay. Yes. Because, what does that do? Mm -hmm. Yes, because um, you might have misunderstandings and stuff. And then when you 
you sleep together I, in the night one may touch the other and everything will be solved oh, yes yeah, so wow. i think you should stay because the bible says when we get married we are no more two we are one one yes the two shall be one and so we are married we all have to sleep in the same room on the same bed and then we do everything together even when you you can afford a big mansion with many rooms in the house Yes, I, I don't know where that thing comes from, but I think most people most people want to do that. And for me, it's not good on my part. Mm. If you are married, you have to be in the same room and on the same bed, bed. so you can do a lot of things together. Wow. Yeah. yeah very, very important. Mark 10, 9 says the two shall be one. I mean, yeah. come to think of it, is it because you can afford? Mm -hmm. Because watch this. The Bible says, Two are better than one. Mm. If one person sleeps alone, how can he be comforted or get warm? Ecclesiastes 4, 9 and 10. Mm -hmm. So in a way, by God's own way, he has decided and designed that marriage must be able to bring a, a, a form of comfort and warmness I mean, in the relationship. This is God. Mm. I have some. I know some pastors, some prophets, yes. some rich men. They yes. have their own rooms. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. If God gives the whole world as my parish, I will still be with one room with Teresa. I don't have anywhere going, mm. and I don't have any secret anywhere. My altar is Jesus Christ, mm. where I pray the same bedroom. Also, in the night, at times I wake up in the night praying. She's also praying. I don't know where we got that one from. So, whether you are fasting or oh, not, every, we are the same place. Okay. This is my wife now. Mm. What is it? I don't know. Has God made mistake of blessing people, <laughs> and now you have your rooms, oh. and your wife need to. Uh, go and knock, knock it it's not the best anyway we are not condemning those who do that but i'm saying mm. it's, not the best. it's not the best let us avoid it mm. it is not even the bible it's not there thank you very much i am married for two years with no child what will i do to be happily married kinsley from joma okay so let me take this one marriage is complete with mm. or without, without children. children genesis 2 23 24 genesis mm. 2 23 24 and uh matthew 19 5 to 8 marriage is complete with or without children god says a man should leave his family and come and join with his wife and both of them become one flesh children are grace that by god's grace in all way he allow us to have children mm. if you don't have child now and you are married enjoy your wife enjoy your marriage wow. when the children come they are going to fight with you <laughs> in many many things okay they are going to they are going to fight how how you are growing when you get there you understand Daddy, tell us something that's how you want to know <laughs> well when i say you see there are some wives when they have children the attention is shifted uh. So oh, the attention uh, will be divided. Don't come and do this. Oh, I'm giving food. I'm taking up. I'm doing this. That's what I want. Which is true. And then in the night, too, baby, the man you want to have an affair with your wife, and here you are. The baby's child, crying. Baby's crying, breastfeeding. Oh. He has taken the, all the breath from you. So you so, can you. Uh -huh. uh. So now, now there's no child. Enjoy, oh, enjoy. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> By the time they come, you are not going to have the thing cry. No, 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 no. But I the, think their, their focus is shifted on having children having children and the problem That's why is that don't enjoy. there are some people when they the children are not forthcoming their joy is taken away mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you enter into relationship you got to know that marriage is complete mm. i love you you love me let's have that kind of understanding okay and enjoy each other as god permit it will come this is only two years mm -hmm. why are you now yes according to biology and science why are you here? Somebody will say, well, two years, Papa, what are you talking about? But they are saying, if a man and a wife, husband and wife, they live together for a year, mm. and there's no sign, sign of, of childbearing, it simply means that there's a problem. Okay. Either both of them are using medicine to prevent, mm -hmm. or something somehow is wrong. This is from a biology and scientific perspective. Yes. But God's perspective is different. Is wrong, is different. Mm. Mm. Sarah was how many years? Uh, Elizabeth was how many years? Mm. They got married after 20 years. Mm. I pray for such a person that God will just honor yes. them and give them fruit of the womb. Yeah. But whether children or no children, marriage ought to be continued. Mm. But my prayer is that whoever is looking for the fruit of the womb by this uh, program, 
I decree mm. with my eyes open. Jesus. Receive your twins in the name of Amen. Jesus. And those who are Amen. pregnant, may God protect you. Amen. You have free delivery mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. All the young girls that people have promised you, hey. I pray that they will stand behind what they have said. No disappointment. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I cancel disappointment. Amen. Anybody have promised you are going to marry in the name of Jesus. It is settled. Amen. 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 Daddy, thank you for your prayer. And I, I, I want to add this. Mm -hmm. uh, when the children are old, when they are grown, mm -hmm. they will leave you. Okay. So you will be left with your husband or your wife. Alone. So alone. So they should enjoy themselves. Mm. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Um, Mr. Nana Sabing, marriage, Dr. Midas Owoho. <laughs> okay. Mabel, Ellen Mousy, really, mommy, me have always desired of having my own room. <laughs> Even if I'm married. Wow. Well, mommy, you see, your, your daughter is saying she's designed to have her own room. Wow. People have their own choices. And mm. uh, whatever choice we are going to make, make sure you have biblical basis. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Kingsley, enjoy your marriage before the children come and disturb you. When your spouse dies, is it okay to remarry? And after how long? Mercy from Apenkwa. Uh, first, no, Romans chapter 7. Romans 7, 1 to 3. Romans 7, 1 to 3. And First Corinthians 7. Romans 7 says, Woman, so long as your, wa uh, your husband is alive, you are bound with mm. him. But when he dies, you can marry. Mm. And so when he dies, when your, your spouse dies, you are allowed to marry. Mm. Bible. Uh, culturally, traditionally, in African perspective, mm -hmm. they say one year mm. because you need to mourn him or her and give and respect before. But mm. uh, I also know that there are some Christian communities here in Ghana or Africa mm -hmm. that because they say this man is a pastor, it's apostle, he's going to fall down or <laughs> something. And so after eight months or six months, mm -hmm. they marry. For me, what I would say is that it takes some time to mourn. Uh, your ex-husband or ex-wife before but you, you before, enter but if you marry after death there's no problem at all but make sure you have good time to mourn him or her very very vital mm. yeah. thank you very much okay in this covered season how do i make my home enjoyable and exciting I have realized that my husband is frustrated because of finances. Gifty from Asafa. Mommy, this is your question. Um, uh, it's a good question. Uh, you know, in this season, that's this COVID season, we have a lot of jobs going down. A lot of people, a lot of people uh, have lost their jobs. Mm -hmm. Some are being paid like half of their salaries and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so... All she needs to do is encourage the husband and mm. then communicate with him often and often. Talk to him. And then she should be available for um, the man mm. all the time. Yes. Available in what yes. sense? Uh, she, should, she should be there for okay. the family. Okay. You know, the man may be um, the finances, like she said, is, is not... It's down. Is, is down, yes. So she should fill in the gap. If she's working, mm. she should fill in the gap so that the husband does not feel... Frustrated. Frustrated and then will be thinking and stuff. Mm. So she should fill in the gap and then encourage him. Because it's a season. It will pass. It will pass. Yes. So mm. she should Thank you very him. much, ma'am. And then create things in the house. I think it's mm. going to help. Thing, interesting things in the house to make him to make, um, um, happy. Like, um, last Thursday, the as of mommies we met, and okay. then we had one as of mommy saying that when uh, in this COVID season, she she decided to um, do some exercises with the children. Okay, and then the husband is in the house, so they added, and it has become interesting. Wow! So you create something at home, mm. and I think it's going to help. Okay. Thank you very much. So, gifty from Asofa, create something in your home. You can also exercise with your children, play a game, sing, dance together, you know, make something big, do something interesting, and fill in for your husband if things are not going on well. Encourage him, be the shoulder that he can lean on. 
Mr. Isaac Minta. Rebecca gave birth after 20 years. Bro, I understand your situation, but keep on praying and have faith. Wow. Thank you. God will honor his word. Amen. Thank you so much. We have a question from Mr. Ebenezer. Mr. Ebenezer Boating. Please, can I make love with my wife on phone? I'm out of the country. Wow. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, you can make love probably talking to her. She talk to you. Other people will say, I want to see my wife in nakedness. That's what people say. As a matter of some people, they even think it is a sin to do that. Because of technology, it is not advisable to use your phone to take pictures and send to him or her via internet. Mm -hmm. If you do that, it is going to be kept somewhere, especially your nakedness. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe your day is going to come, you're going to be emperor, high personal profile, and uh, here you are. Your yeah, picture comes out. So... That's what I would say. You can make love. It depends on both of you, your level of understanding. Mm -hmm. If you think that uh, this is my wife for me, Scripture says from First Corinthians chapter seven, mm -hmm. three to five, your wife body is for you, and uh, your body belongs to your wife. So if you want, uh, you are travel maybe outside the country, and this is your wife. You want to see her breast for you to be happy. I don't see anything wrong with that, because that one you are not taking any picture. Only both of you. If that will work for you, that's fine. Yeah, so if that is the only thing you can do. But be careful because at times, the way we do things, you may also create problems. Mm -hmm. Let's say here you are, your wife, you have done it so much that she has got into a level, a realm, that she needs a man for penetration. And you are not there. So that is another thing. So there are some people, you know, if you can't spare, don't write. Because at times, the, the, the wives or the guests get to a level that they are in a realm that they need somebody to do a form of penetration. So if that one too is not there because you are not here and your wife is not a faithful person, then you got to be careful. Again, you too as a man, if you endanger uh, yourself, it can be a bit dangerous and dicey because the more you do this, uh, maybe you may have some dreams in the night that you spoil yourself too, in a way. And so this is, is uh, it's dicey. I don't want to say it's a sin. But you've got to be careful and tactical in your dealings. Uh, it depends on you and your level. And if you are, uh, okay, now Corona, Corona, Corona. Yeah, please, before you continue, there's a similar question. And it says, I'm studying abroad and my wife is in Ghana. I miss my wife very much, but I can't travel in this season because of COVID. COVID has spoiled my plans. What do I do? Can I talk to my wife so that I find a companion here? Madness. For that time, madness. <laughs> Daddy, he refers to something. He says, like Abraham and Sarah. Oh, to bring in that person must be able to listen to us Mondays <laughs> and Thursdays. Bible school online free. <laughs> Bible is not about Abraham. Bible is about Jesus Christ. I now, suffering. You are suffering, yes, but <laughs> you can. I mean, you can pay a uh, pay Peter to pay. Uh, in other words, you can't pick Peter to pay Paul. That's a thing. You can't do that. Uh, it's not right. You need to pray for the spirit of self-control. Mm -hmm. Your wife, even your girl, cry. if you have a girl that you want to marry, you are proposed to her, and she has understood, mm -hmm. and she's waiting for you here. Ketesi demands that over there, you must never do any foolish thing. Mm -hmm. Because when both of you agree together, Malachi 2, God becomes the witness mm -hmm. between both of you. So if it comes to marriage, please don't use Abraham. In this regard, you only use Abraham in, in his faith and love of God. And not in the introduction. No, we are told to imitate what, what is, is good. good. Tell your eleven. Hey, let's look unto Jesus. <laughs> you don't do that. Jesus is coming. Oh, you must not forget so that one. Said, no, no. Hey, now look at Corona. Corona has taken over the world. If Jesus comes, what are you going to happen? What happened to you? What is going to do? In other words, here you are, a married man, sleep with a strange woman in a foreign land, and Jesus appears. Trouble. <laughs> As soon as see. Uh, just pray that Corona will get out and then all the borders will be open. Then you can travel. You can travel fast, fast. Next time we are going, go with your wife. <laughs> uh, oh. Marriage is dwelling together. If it is possible, I will encourage young girls. If your uh, your guy cannot travel to your country, if he, in other words, he lack all the papers to travel, mm. 
Don't say yes to a man who cannot come back mm -hmm. and visit you because at times it's, it's too uh, very, very, very difficult for mm. people to maintain that. But when it, when it's marriage, please don't do that. Mm. Don't use Abraham. It's an error. Mr. Ebenezer Watson says, thanks so much. God bless you, Efo. This is because I don't want to cheat on my wife. I don't try. So that's why he asked the question about the phone thing. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, the phone thing there yeah, for me, if that will yeah. make you happy, you look at your wife face, uh, maybe the back or the front, whatever you want to look, just check. That's fine. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> in marriage, <laughs> in marriage, who pays for what? We live abroad and this brings conflict every time. Um, I think it depends on both of you. you. You have to sit down and then discuss. But in our contest, in like in the African contest, mm. it is the man that takes care of the home. Mm. The woman is there to help. She is a helper. Mm. And so both of them should sit down and then discuss what to do to make their family move forward. Mm. Yes, so they have to sit and then talk to each other and see what any of them can, can do, do to help yes, the family, to help the family to avoid conflict. To avoid conflict. Mm. Yes. Thank you very much, mommy. Okay. So <laughs> my spouse likes borrowing from people without informing me. Borrowing. Borrowing. I am always paying as a man. I'm tired. What should I do? I have spoken to her severally. But to no avail. Michael from Tema. Borrowing is no good. Yes. Uh, a borrower, you are a master to your lend, the, the one who lends you money. Mm. Life, you must be able to understand that life is in phases. Men are in sizes. Again, life, they say, is progressive attainment. Mm. Take it as it comes. They say, cut your coat, not according to your cloth, according to your size. Mm. No, not according to your uh, size, according to your cloth. Because probably if you are six, five, uh, look at your cloth before you can cut. I mean, they used to say cut according to your size. Yes, now they say no, according okay, to your cloth. Your cloth the cloth you have. Yeah, cloth you have. Because if, if you have two years, you come to uh -huh. the style. That's the thing. So you got to know your income. Mm. Why will you live your life in borrowing? Mm. I know our brethren in the West. The government and the system allow them to have what they call credit, credit card, card and other stuff. We cannot fault them. Mm. But even that one too, you got to be careful. Because at time when you, you spoil your credit, you can't buy anything. Mm. You can't buy like a house or something. Mm. A time may come, you may need money to buy home, mortgage or whatever. You may not have it. So for me, live a simple life. And uh, in marriage, if your husband is borrowing, and you spoken to him. I think it's the wife. The wife is doing the borrowing. Hey, Jesus. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, and he's paying. Like he's you paying. Tell him that he'll uh, pay. This one, the, the wife wants to eat into her future. Mm. I'm sure she's looking for things. Mm. Uh, if a woman like that, you are causing trouble. This is financial losses to uh, the, the, the marriage. Mm. And uh, uh, it's not the best. You got to be content with what you have. As a husband, if your, hus your wife does that, forgive her, number one. You have talked to her. You just love her. And if possible, provide. I don't know whether you do, you do your part by providing. Mm -hmm. But probably she also needs counseling. Mm -hmm. So this thing, that's why we are here. You know, this family matters. We are here to do a lot of counseling. Mm -hmm. I've seen Dr. Karen. I've seen a lot of yes. uh, all the people from the States and then uh, the Catherine and the, all the people... Dr. Karen and the children, they are all there listening to us. So this program for me is opportunity. So probably she, uh, he can, if it is the wife, why not uh, he call us a book appointment so that we can sit down Meet and talk. The wife. That's very important. But living a life with borrowing is not a here or there. It's a bad thing to do so. Live a simple life. What you don't have, you don't need it. Mm. Yes, if you don't have anything, you don't need it. When the need arises, God shall provide. Life is little by little. God told the Israelites, Canaan is your possession, but I won't give it to you one day. You must take it little by little. So this is God's perspective. Mm. Little by little. Jesus was born as a child, mm -hmm. though God, and he grew. Life is little by 
little. When we began Peace Chapel, going on I mean, television and places, you need to write letters. But today, we are not that. It is the people who write, we decide where to go. By God's grace. It's all about time. Mm. He does everything beautiful in his time. In his time. Thank you very Ecclesiastes much. Ecclesiastes 3, 10. Mm. Thank you very much, Bishop. In God's time, everything is going to fall in place. God bless you once again for watching. This is Family Matters, and we are live on Facebook. Brought to you by Peace Chapel International. We talk about everything, family, relationship, marriage, single life, anything, any question you have, kindly bring it here, and our able counselors will answer you. Dr. Karen says, the most important thing, as you have stated, is that we are living in a dangerous and uncertain time. We must embrace and live the word of God in our conduct. Miss mm. Lavon is here. Praise God for the wisdom. Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo. Mm. God bless you all for supporting. And okay. All right. As you see, Nilai. Nilai says, God bless you, Daddy. Please, as a newly wedded couple, what are some of the good jobs you might advise us to go in for in this corona season and why? Huh. I don't know where he's uh, uh, speaking from. If he's in Ghana. Yes, he's in Ghana. That's a good one. As well, I'm sure the online is very, very simple. So, it's not dangerous because you are at your home. And you can, even here in Ghana, if you go for online job, in other words, if you are... You have expertise on the IT, information technology, the online. You can work from home. You can work from home. Mm -hmm. You are not going to avoid interaction with anybody. Your, your home, whether mask or no mask, your home. Yeah. So that's the number one. It depends on wh what you can do. Mm -hmm. huh. Apart from that, it is not going to be easy. Yes. Probably you need to create a job for yourself. Yes. Yes. I, I, the problem of Africa, no, Ghana, this is not Africa. Because Nigeria has been there several times. Most people have their own business. Mm -hmm. I don't want to compare, but it appears the, the owners of business in Nigeria, mm -hmm. they are more than this way. Not because of their number, mm -hmm. but that's the, the psych, their mentality, their belief system. Here in Ghana, many people too uh, have their businesses, but I've, I've not seen that in majority. Mm -hmm. So this time, pray to God and create a, a job for yourself. Yeah. Yes, if you don't, you can't work with IT then create something for there yourself. Is, there is Uber, there is Bolt. Oh, good show. Yes, but and online businesses like buying and selling. Buying and selling, you can create something. No smarts, no That's a good one. And then you got to be wise too. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, strategy today, uh, this face mask all over the place. Mm -hmm. And sanitizers. Yes, mm -hmm. you, can, you can do your own different. Something new. Something new. That be, will catch attention. Ca yeah, catch attention and then bring it on board. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, but all... Oh, you can't do by your strength. Pray to God and allow God to direct your path. Mm -hmm. According to Proverbs 3, 5 to 8. Uh, acknowledge God and trust him. Don't lead to understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him for he shall direct your path. Mm -hmm. So pray to God for direction. Thank you very much. Dr. Karen again says, this is excellent. Dear Bishop and Pastora, thank you for having this open forum for God's people dis to discuss real issues in these times. Thank you so much for your support. Um, how, how do you not get bored or fed up with one woman as a wife over the years? Truth be told, it is difficult. Kenneth Tabora. So, so this is to what? This is, this to is me. a man. A man asking the question. Oh, how do you not get fed up? Oh, Bishop, Jesus. Over 20 years. Okay, I've woman. married 27. Yes. yes. Boring. Okay, the thing is that they say if you can't spell, don't write. Mm. Marriage is life. It's a place of no return. If you go to Elimina Castle, there's a place like that. Yes. Marriage is also a place of no return. Mm -hmm. So in the, in, the, in the beginning, your foundation, you need to have this mentality, mindset. If you are a pastor, it's my wife. <laughs> till death comes. So that's the thing. And number two, uh, since by scriptures... I am not allowed to go for another woman. I need to psych myself up mm. all the time. And I don't live by my feelings. I must li live according to scriptures. That's it. So that's not like boring. Not at mm. all. Mm. It goes most of the time. The boring comes because of mentality or mindset. Mm -hmm. Because listen, there's something we call alternatives. This studio, we have only one. 
the Door. two windows, four windows, but we have two now opened. This uh, uh, exit is just one May one here. No matter what happens, this is where we are going to go when we finish. Mm. Mm. So if you know by a Christian, you live according to scriptures. Mm. One plus one equals one. Until they do apart. If you are given for a pastor, it's only woman I need to have an affair with. Mm. It's a subtle matter. And with this mindset, you go along with that. It's not like boring. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, you have alternatives. Yeah. If you want to go to hell, if you want to have a calamity to befall you, then you go for that. So for me, it's a centrality mm -hmm. of the beginning and the foundation. It's just there. Mm -hmm. and, and number two, uh, the girl in question too, uh, if you married, let's say, uh, uh, those, uh, this will be the advice of the women mm -hmm. or the wives. Men, by nature, men, we are not very good. If not Jesus. That's the truth. Our eyes are not content. Our eyes are not satisfied. Only Jesus can help us. And so, if you're a wife and you're married to a man, the way you carry yourself, she's 50 years and above. But look at the way she carries herself. Mm. She looks like 20. Yeah, so, yeah. every day, she, she tries to woe me. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. So, that one too... It's only me. She, Mommy, she, you have to teach the viewers how you would. Yeah, you she would. She, she keep on worrying me every day, mm -hmm. winning me to her side. Wow. The way she carry herself, chain the hair gear, yeah, hey. doing this uh, skirt and top thing, yeah. you know, and the kind of nighty she will portray in the night. When Talk you see, you. oh, what about your anointing is there? <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you are in the realms, you come to the natural. So it's two sides. Number one, there's no boring relationship because of the word of God. Mm -hmm. And number two, uh, the person in question. So my advice will be very simple to all uh, my sisters, my nieces, my daughters, and uh, my aunties. If you're a wife, it doesn't matter your age. Mm -hmm. Try to carry yourself in a way that every day you can be attractive and keep on wooing mm -hmm. your own husband. Very vital. And I therefore pray for the man so that every day you can have favor before your man. They start like boring. Mm. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Because mm. we are going to marry 80 years. If Jesus tarries. When I'm 80 in marriage, I just ask God, take me. Because 80 plus my years, I'll be 120. It's okay. Take me. Bye-bye. She will <laughs> stay with the grandchildren and continue life after me. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much. Adok Kweku says, Daddy, I want to be like you, so pray for me. I'm Gideon. In Jesus' name, receive the grace. Amen. Uh, He's anything, from Italy. Italy. Anything you are looking for is for you. If you love what you do, take it. Amen. 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 Hey, Dr. Karen says, come on, Pastora. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you all so much. Um, Mr. Isaac Apia says, the Bible says we should guide our minds with the word of God. Every day, keep on carrying yourself in a way that pleases your husband, Dr. Karen. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think our time is catching up with us. Mommy, I want to ask you this question. How do you cope or go about as a wife to the bishop? It's just simple. I'm, I'm just like any normal uh, or any ordinary any ordinary um, wife. Yes, so I, I just go about doing whatever that I need to do. So it's, it's nothing like coping. There's no pressure. No, 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 not at all. Because you have to find yourself something doing mm. all the time. Yes. Uh, the ministry is there and you have your life to live mm -hmm. too. Yes, so you, you have to balance it. Mm. Yes. Um, let me ask the same question in another way. Mm. Comparing being married to Bishop before and after he became known um, or blessed, how has it been? What is the difference? Um, there has not been any difference. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say rather the love that we have for ourselves is growing deeper and deeper and deeper. Wow. Yes, he's... he's you know, we don't live fake lives. No, mm. not at all. <laughs> we don't live, you know, we have so many fake, fake 
as of my amends and as of us, they try to portray that they are everything is fine, fine oh. whilst things are not, yes. But for us, everything is uh, normal, everything is going on well, and he treats me even better than before. Than before. Hi. Yes. So I think he's a good man. He's trying. God bless you. God Amen. bless you, Daddy. Mm. Hey, Mommy. <laughs> Today at Tehila, this is a personal question. We learned about offenses. Jacob loved Joseph and brought about rivalry. So how do you deal with um, sibling rivalry as a parent? Well, I'm sure if you have 20 children, you must love them together. How? The same. There's no preference. Everybody, every child is unique. Mm. You must love all of them. Uh, God has, I don't know how many people... Mm -hmm. Probably let's say 8 billion. Mm -hmm. And he loved everybody according to John 3.16. For God so loved the world. He loved all of us together. Mm. Irrespective of uh, our misbehavior and actions. As a matter of one, it rains. And when God gives us a sun, mm -hmm. sun shines for believers and non-believers as well. And so as a parent, you can be able to avoid that kind of rivalry uh, 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 in between siblings. The way you carry yourself. Love them and don't compare any one of them to any yeah. other sibling because everybody has plus and minus, minus. but treat people the same. Mm. So, most cases, when you see children, siblings fighting, it is because parents we are taking sides. Mm -hmm. This is my beloved, this is my no, my favorite, my favorite. That's not like that. And the truth is that you never know tomorrow mm -hmm. because uh, there are something you can't say it here. Here am I sitting here. Uh, by God's grace as a bishop of this great church. But in my beginning was very bad. I mean, parenting, something that I can't even say on air. Here. You never know these children that you say, this one day, it's a stop one child. Only time is going to tell. You never know. So for me, as a parent, mm. you can avoid, you can avoid uh, rivalry. rivalry between or among your children. Uh, children if you love them the same. The same. Treat them the same. Hmm. Don't take sizes. When he comes, or when she comes, the same way you treat them. Mm -hmm. now, no, no, no. Uh, in other words, all of them are not going to do the same thing for you. Okay. Some may even cause some mayhem to you, okay. or they may even bring discomfort. But even that one too, mm. still love. Because as a parent, you might be like God. No, and we shouldn't forget. The children are not our children. They are God. They are God's children. Wow. That's my understanding. Mm -hmm. For me, by God's grace, mommy and I, we have four. By the four, we are just instruments. Mm. The children belong to God they himself. Gifts from God. Gift from, ah, that's what the Bible says. Mm. Psalm 127, one, uh, three. 127, three. They are gifts. So for me, God used us to bring them, but they are his children. So who am I to uh, despise God's property? Wow. Because of probably my own interest. Mm. So let us have that in mind. Wow. And unfortunately, you know, Jacob, he took size. Mm -hmm. And you know what happened to him. Mm. And uh, very, very, very uncomfortable story. But God, you know, this God, he can do anything, mm. even in our mistakes. Yeah. But for me, as a parent, I treat everybody the same. Mm. And that must be the order of the day. Mm. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Miss Lavon says, Pastora, how would you encourage a young woman who desires to be a wife? This is from Pastora, Texas, to <laughs> Lavon. How would I encourage a young, a young woman, woman who desires to be a wife? Yes, I would encourage because the Bible says that um, marriage is a good thing. Yes, uh, it is good to um, get married because the Bible says that um, to no, no. The, <laughs> The, the Bible says that um, it's not good for a man yes. to be alone. Genesis 2.18. Yes, it's not good for a man to live alone. Each of us should have his wife or um, his husband, uh, her husband. So it's good to get married. So I will encourage all young women to pray to God if um, your husband has not come, to keep on praying and then asking the Lord to give you the right partner. 
yes the right man mm. i think it's good it helps it mm. takes loneliness away from you and stuff mm. yes thank so you i will encourage Ms. all young women to keep praying keep pray miss lavon your question has been answered mabel ella mousy says mommy i believe it all bounces back to the kind of man you are married to because someone will get a very good and caring wife like you but would lose the wife simply because of the way he handles the woman please do you get it yes in in regard to you saying um mommy was you mommy is you are mommy, mommy said you are caring and you're a good man she's saying that someone may also have a woman just like mommy who is very good and was him but still will not treat her yes it, it's all about choices and for us i'm what i am by the grace of god uh first Corinthians 15 10. personally i'm not a good person but because of jesus yeah so any good thing that comes from me is christ mm. i'm more mm. god-centered christ-centered and so if any good thing comes from me glory goes to god and i also encourage every husband that make jesus your your, your champion make jesus your hero mm -hmm. if jesus becomes your hero you can be a very good uh, uh husband to your wife yes make jesus your hero. he is my hero okay that's it thank you bishop there's this program and what the couple do is to talk about their marriage recently there was a confession about an entanglement and entanglement means cheating in a way on the part of the wife when they separated as a couple to what extent should you be transparent to yourselves should you confess after you cheat what should you do well for me cheating is non-starter in other words don't even start because the truth is i don't know the west i don't know america i don't know europe i don't know asia mm. but at least i know africa mm -hmm. And in most cases, people behavior is a, a global phenomenon. Mm -hmm. In other words, when you go to America, some things happen in Africa, mm -hmm. it will happen anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Here you are, you have cheated on your husband and you say, hello, honey. You know, last month I cheated on you. And your husband will say, God bless you, hello. <laughs> it is not going to work. At all. Marriage is going to be dissolved completely. Mm -hmm. So the truth is, why will you go and cheat? Hmm. That's the question. And the truth is, if you don't confess to you, the curses on your head is going to be more and more Even and your more. Conscience. Yes. So you must not be start. Listen, Psalm 11 3. When the foundation destroys, what can mm, the right of do? do? Holiness is a foundation. Mm, mm. It is sad that today we have wives. Who cheat on your husband? Your husband is is it's so bad. And for husbands, if they do it rampantly, it's very very sad, <laughs> very very sad. So cheating is evil. And in case you do it, confess to God, mm. and confess to your husband, and confess to your husband. Oh yes, but if you don't do that one, then what are you going to do? Because by experience, mm. here in this church, not peace chapel members, but you know. The kind People of work we do because of the uh, yes the social media and then the TV radio people come here and at times some people come and say please don't mention my name or mm -hmm. my church or if I I tell my pastor I'm going to be excommunicated in the church mm -hmm. my second born is not it's for, not my, for my husband and I will say Jesus now begin to speak some ojacious tongues things are happening oh mm. and it's evil mm. and. Well, what can I say? At times when people do th those confessions, they still keep along and the marriage continues. Mm. So for me, you must be transparent to your wife. Mm -hmm. uh, Genesis chapter 2, 24, 25. Transparent to your spouses, your not spouses. only wife. Yeah. So whatever happens, whatever you happens. supposed to let oh, them Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Because Adam and Eve were naked. Simply meant there was transparency mm. in the marriage, uh, the first marriage. So transparency is very key just that as i'm saying don't try mm -hmm. because you lose integrity well, how can i trust you again why will your husband trust you why will your wife trust you if you do such a thing so we must not go there but in case it has happened let's confess the truth is that most first bonds according to a, a program <laughs> i listen they are not for the men most first bonds here in ghana 
I was surprised to hear that. You, anyway, you make people start having. Ah, you got DNA. to check your DNA. Very important. Me, they my own. I have seen my own. Is, uh. is correct <laughs> because my wife was a virgin, and I know. You see, Pastor Bright. You see, this bishop is is the same thing. Right? So, oh, everything is there. <laughs> clear, 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 clear. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but DNA, if you if you, if you doubt your wife, go and do DNA, and at times it is good. Hey, as <laughs> I don't know. So people, are you, are you serious with God? If you I want to say something. If you are in a relationship and then you cheat, that's evil. Mm -hmm. it's, it's evil to do that. To you are with your husband. Why would you go outside your marriage and then have an affair with someone else? And then you come back to confess. What is that? They could, they could give. Okay, in this instance, for the program that them the spouse sit together to talk, they separated for a while, for a and while. So during the separation, back, uh -huh, and she she said it's not cheating; it's an entanglement. Mean it's an entanglement. It's an entanglement. Certain but, but, situations. But, but, but so, listen, separation is the, no in the Bible. First Corinthians seven. If it was even allowed that. When you have the uh, disagreement with your spouse, mm -hmm. separation is the first thing. Meaning, the tendency to come back. Yes. You separate to resolve misunderstanding to come back. To come back. So in your separation, whatever you do, you are still a wife. Mm. There's no divorce mm. there. If you divorce, it's a different thing. Mm. So it's still cheating. And I hate the word entanglement. What is it? <laughs> it's also sin. Today we are playing with the words. It's a sin. Is, Sin. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, somebody said holiness is a foundation. Yes. I know Dr. Kari said that. Well, in yeah, and she, in she also said, listen, this word entanglement has been used to confuse God's people uh -huh. who are not studying the word of God. This entanglement is adultery, Look period, and it's not okay. Thank it's you not very okay. much, Dr. Kari. You see, that's a good one, Doctor. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. I don't know. Jesus is coming again. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. it's interesting. I don't know. Bishop, I need your help. I dated a man who was a cheat and broke up with him last year. Last year, he messaged me and that he, he has changed. And even in training to become a pastor. I agreed and we are planning marriage now. He has a child. He was with my phone when a gentleman who had shown interest in me texted. And he insulted me seriously. The knocking and engagement is next month. What do I do? Because I love him. Felicia Tema. You love him? Yes. And <laughs> it's a, there's a red flag. There's a red flag. Mm. Yes. Uh, he has cheated on you before? Um, when he was in the world. Now, now he's, he's a, a new person. He's even becoming a pastor. And forget soon. about the pastor. Don't confuse yourself with pastor. Okay. Who is a pastor? We are talking about a Christian. Okay. But see, the problem is that Christianity is not by titleship mm. or sloganism. Mm. It's a relationship with Jesus. with Jesus. We have some bishops who are falling asleep with girls every day. Mm. Act bishops and prophets and prophetess are also sleeping outside. So I, I prefer say that He's now a Christian. A Christian. A That's it. Uh, not a pastor. Pastor okay. is nothing. Okay. Right. But if uh, he has seen something and lambasted the wife. Yes. Actually, she sent an audio. Okay. And in the audio, she said, now, because of the COVID, she moved into his house. Oh, and they are, they are planning marriage. So. They are sleeping together. Uh, that one, I don't know. They are sleeping <laughs> together. You must know. <laughs> According to her audio. They are staying together with his child. And they are doing that thing too. Oh, I am not there. So okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> and the man happens to have her phone at one time. Mm -hmm. And then this other gentleman who has been messaging her or shown interest in her while she was in Tema and whilst they had broken off, messaged. And I think the message he sent was about love. Okay. And then the man was like... She's cheating. So he started insulting her seriously at that moment to the extent that he even left the house and went to the pastor's house to report her. Oh. And so now she doesn't even know the fate of the marriage. Whether the marriage is next month. Is it going to come on or what's going to happen? What well, should she do? I think she has already made mistake by moving in to a man that has not married to her. That's number mm. one. Mm. And if you do that, you limit your weight, your mm. importance, mm. and uh, your your significance. Mm. 
Why will you go and live with a man that has not married to you? That's number one. Number two, uh, hmm. Now, the, this person, uh, the text message and the WhatsApp that he, uh, the audio thing that he received to, has also brought some fire to the thing. And uh, everything looks very, very bizarre. What she, she need to do now, hmm, she has already committed herself. And for me, I pity for her. She's supposed to live uh, independently before the man marries <laughs> and come back to the man's compound. Now that he's already there, sleeping together, they are, I don't know whether they have checked the health status, whether the man has well, this and this, HIV or genotype. Mm -hmm. every, whether they are compatible. They're compatible, blood. Oh my God. It's too complex. Mm -hmm. So probably, what can I say? They are already there. And in the Bible, this one I'll quote Moses. <laughs> Moses, yeah, Moses said that uh, we must not uh, have an affair with a woman. But if you do that, we must force you to marry her. Marry her. So this one there, the man is already sleeping with her. But he's insulting her because of just the message. So she, she's hurt and she doesn't know whether to go on with the man. And, and that is the problem. So right now, if this how the man, this how the man is going to treat or more treat her. Mm -hmm. And she has also moved to the man's place. Already. For me, common sense will tell me that if the marriage is coming on next month, she must not use this as a, uh, as a basis of getting out. But rather, hello, darling, we are going to marry next month. But the way I see it, we need God. So mm -hmm. I want to go back to my family place. And so that after marriage, I'll come back. Wow. But he must, she must be careful how, to go, how to go about it. Probably she can also involve counselors mm -hmm. and other stuff. Mm -hmm. And if the guy, according to you, the test is going to be a pastor or something and... Uh, Oh, you see, uh, the, the attitude and behavior very, very bad. For me, if I'm a young girl and I've not married to a man mm. and the man is insulting me, mm. seriously tearing me down, hey, I will advise myself. Advice because I can't imagine me marrying to her even this time. I, 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 that I, first year, second year, ten year to insulting her. Mm. This one, if you give one, one insult, she's going to die. She can't stand. The same lady says, Bishop, you spoke about understanding this morning, but we have been arguing always. A week will not pass without a fight. Uh, you don't have understanding. Should I go ahead with the marriage? No. Well, if, she, if she can, she can come to our office for here counseling. for counseling. Mm. And if the, the guy, she claims is going to be a, a pastor, pastor to they too join. can. Uh -huh. hey. for, they, that's why I said, don't even call it pastor. You say you want to be a pastor? <laughs> Living with a woman you have not married. Oh, what kind of pastor? Who is going to ordain you? Mercy. Who call you? You see, I wish you didn't, you didn't even add the name, I want to be a pastor. <laughs> so they need some counseling mm. and some prayers. Thank you very much. But the red flags are too big. Are too much. Yeah. <laughs> Patricia, a film says, that the world we live in now no longer values holiness. Wow. I saw somewhere last week that it's okay when you allow yourself or your spouse to cheat once in a while. Mm -hmm. mm. I was shocked to the bone. The world is now going somewhere else, and we need more of these teachings to bring people back to the righteous way. That is true. That is why if you have a platform like this, we are encouraging you to share with all your friends. Make sure everyone is here, everyone is listening, and then the world will be a better place. Thank you very much, Sister Pat. Mm. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been very interesting. At what time or age can I be independent as a single, as in live alone and fend for myself? Maria Makokum Lemle. I want to take that one. Um, okay, I'll t at which age should I should be I independent, in leave the house as a single and live alone, fend for myself? You know, independence is, is <laughs> we think independence is good, but sometimes when you are independent, you mm -hmm. do things that you are not supposed to do. So for me, um, I will tell her to, if she's living with her parents, she should be there for someone to come and ask her hand in marriage before she moves. Yes, that is if she lives with her parents, um, her parents, her parents now. now mm -hmm. Yes, she should be with her parents for someone to come and marry, marry her, her as a lady. out as a lady. Okay. Yes, that will be fine. But if she still insists that um, she can take care, care of, herself of herself and then she wants to leave the house, mm -hmm. fine. 
she can go ahead at which age uh i, I don't want to say age 20, 20 or, or 30 yes or but if she thinks she's okay and then she's working she can buy everything for herself cater for herself and afford to pay her rent and, and all that, all that. Mm. she can uh, move but for me i would advise her to if her parents mm. are around and they have a house she should live there till someone comes, comes for her, for her mm. hand in marriage but if it's a man if it's a man if it's a young gentleman should he also live in the house no 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 if he's a gentleman as for a gentleman a gentleman needs to go and find a uh, place, a place. Mm -hmm. yes because you are going to bring someone in into there your into your house yes mm. so Thank if you, you are much. working and then you have all it takes then you can go, go ahead, ahead and then hire your room and mm. cater for yourself mm. but for a lady i think it's good for you to live with your parents till someone comes and ask your hand in marriage thank you very much vera says how can familiarity be felt with in a leader or a leader pastor relationship and is it okay for preachers to sometimes use experiences of their members in preaching, even though the member's name or identity has not been revealed? Confidentiality on that matter. Oh, I think uh, this is the, what they say, uh, humilities, how to preach. Um, t uh, common sense must tell you that if probably your member has come to you for something, you want to use it uh, according to a counseling, you need their consent. Mm -hmm. Can I use this as a case study? If they say yes, you can. If no, you must not do that. So con uh, seek people's consent before. Mm -hmm. uh, or again, if it is something that is not damaging uh, to their life, you know. But that's why I try to talk to uh, on this plan. It is me and my wife. This is uh, this one. that's nothing shady than to use some people's uh, experience. Any pastor. Uh, your message to dimension God's word and when you walk with God thing that you have seen mm -hmm. so for a pastor to use uh, his church members experience in illustration or as illustration if he has not seen at uh, their consent it can bring some problems in the church it depends on the people their level of growth understanding and their intimacy with God mm -hmm. and the church and the pastor yeah thank you very much Dr. Karen says, Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 4, No man that wor worried entanglement himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. Galatians 5, verse 1, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ had made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Okay. Thank you so much. Tell the truth, Bishop, too many red flags. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you all so much. This is Family Matters brought to you by Peace Chapel International. We are happy to have you. Today has been very educative, and we've touched on every area. We've touched on relationship as a single person, marriage, parenting, and even ministry. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying with Peace Chapel International. There is a question. Um, okay. That would be the last question, right? Yes, please. Okay, so how did you manage conflict in your marriage? Bernard from Adenta. Do you, did you, do you even have conflict? Conflict? Uh, yes, we've, we've once had misunderstanding, not like... It's not rampant. Yes. So you we, don't argue like no we, conflict. We disagree to agree. Okay. Yes. So it's we don't normally have those conflicts and stuff. Is it because mommy you won't she as same one? Um yeah, but fun is uh okay. Uh huh. So, but um what I want to say is you know, it's not healthy for you to be having conflicts in your homes. Mm. And for me, 
uh, I was a Christian before I got married to mm -hmm. a pastor. So I know what is good and what is bad. So if I find out that something is going to escalate and bring tension to the house, I just forget about it, it or off and okay. then we, we, we go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much, mommy. And I hope, Bernard, you've been answered. So here comes the end of Family Matters for tonight. Uh, it's been very interesting. God bless you so, so much. All our viewers, Dr. Karen, Sister Vicentia, Sister Pat, God bless you all, Sister Mabel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for inviting others. We would like to remind you that God willing, tomorrow is a Sunday and it's God's day. Please do well to come to church. Peace Chapel, we come to church. We have services, hourly services from 7 a.m. So we'd like to invite you. It's a powerful service. You will not want to miss it for anything. So do well to have this in your calendar. God willing, on Mondays and on Thursdays, Peace Chapel brings your way. Peace Online Bible School, where the man of God, um, the lecturer, the president of Peace Bible College, Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo, teaches us in-depth word um, into the Bible, makes the Bible very practical to our lives. So we'll encourage everyone, whether you're a pastor or not, join us every Monday and Thursdays on Facebook Live, Peace Chapel, 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., and your life will never be the same. And next week, God willing, as family matters again on Saturday, we'd like you to join us again. Tell your friends about it and stay blessed. This is Peace Chapel. God bless you. Amazing word. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without Him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, back to the sender. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate Peace Chapel International at the Yamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel With International, so our Father's peace House. Peace. Joy. Shalom. Amazing web. When you read the Bible, do you have understanding? Do you have the skills to interpret the Bible? Can you apply the Bible correctly to your daily life?